So we're often asked by clients, tell us what you think works today in, in capability and, and, and what's relevant today. And the first question is to make sure that by capability, they, they mean real capability and not just um, skills development. Um, I quite often will be asked, well, can you help us build a workshop around planning or insight or innovation? And yes, we can, but that's probably unlikely to get you the change you're looking for unless you also look at what the other barriers are. And the, you know, the, the fast levers or barriers to go after are what's getting measured, um, because that's essentially you know, what gets measured gets done. Um, it's, it's the skills and then it's, it's the ways of working. There are two other levers that you can pull but are a bit slower, which is uh, organisation structure and, and the resources, the people and the data available. So assuming that capability is being looked at properly, the next question is, well, okay, well, within that context, if you're looking to drive the change, what, what do you find works? There are five things that we find work um, particularly well and are important to any kind of program. First is things have got to be simple, joined up and relevant to the day job that teams do. Quite often, uh, there is just a wealth of stuff um, that's being made available to, to, to people, too much stuff to sift through and make sense of. It's, it's sitting disjointed and separate from the day job that people do. And then quite often it's, it's orientated towards individuals rather than teams. And we tend to find that the fastest way of having impact is through focusing on, on teams, the way that teams are working, what they do, rather than individuals. You get faster impact. Two is to really, really try and harness the power of one. One framework, one language, one set of metrics. If you're all talking the same, if you're looking at the world through a similar kind of lens, if you're framing challenges in the same kind of way, if you've got a common view of what great looks like, you're much more able to work seamlessly and effectively and really focus on, uh, on, on, on what matters. And you can focus much more on what you need to do rather than how you're doing it. Within that, we're finding huge power of putting the experience journey um, at, the, at the, heart of the heart of the framework, and that's a great way of breaking down silos, providing a framework for metrics, and really helping people focus on, on the few things that are going to make the biggest difference. Third is to give people just enough, just in time, and make it really easy to find. Um, we do a lot of work with a great learning technology company called Learning Age Solutions, and they've been really key to us getting this right uh, with, with clients. Fourth uh, is make it about what the teams do. We try and avoid the training word like the plague because it tends to immediately mean to people that we're taking them out of the day job um, and time away from the business and trying to grow the business. So make it much more about you know, how are we working, how are we together going to drive the business. Um, focus on the shared metrics. And we often find that harvesting and sharing uh, best practice is some of the lowest hanging fruit. Fifthly, and, and, and finally, is it's, it's a blended change journey that's got to be woven into the rhythm of the business, it's got to be measured, and it's got to be something that the leaders are really engaged with. So it's not just about one training intervention. It's got to reflect the sort of the 70-20-10 type, type thinking. It's got to be in the day job. It's got to be woven into how people are approaching their year. Don't talk to them about a planning process if they're not about to do or in the middle uh, uh, of planning because it will be in one ear and out of the other. You forget stuff very, very quickly if you're not reapplying it. And finally and most obviously, it's got to be something that the leaders are engaged with. If the teams aren't seeing their leaders walk the talk with a common view of what great looks like and asking the right questions, then they're not going to get behind uh, the programme and it will, it will have a very, very short uh, half-life and you won't you're not going to get the value uh, out of out of the investment so you know in summary you know, look at capability holistically if you focus on those five things um, you'll be a long way to driving the outcome and impact that you want to have